of the reasons I wanted to go up here is because there's a mountain called, again, I might get this wrong, Wunfak. I don't know, but it's the tallest mountain in the Black Mountain region of the Brecon Beacon, so it's one I want to bag. So I've got to head up, cut across the mountain tops, hit that, and then head back down to the Boffy, because so it's a bit of a walk, but not too far, something like 15 kilometers, something like that. So pretty easy, but factoring in all the filming and stuff, I could normally walk 30, 40, maybe even 50k tops. Um, but because I'm stopping to film throughout the journey and I want to enjoy it, it's a really nice day today and the first one I've done in a long time actually because of Covid so yeah I'm just going to take my time try and get some really cool shots for you guys and uh, yeah let's do it. Basically, if the Brecon Beacons was Lord of the Rings, then I would definitely be a hobbit. You know, I eat so much food. It's my downfall. If I was on Bear Grylls Island, I don't think it'd last very long. I'd probably start eating the other people before not too long. Anyway, I've had loads of snacks already. I have my breakfast before I left. And now, I've got some little croissants. I'm gonna stop, but I'm at the top, basically on the mountain, just on the edge of the forest. Pick up. You see that clearing over there where that wire fence is. That's just uh, the um, top of the mountain. So I just thought I'd have a little snack while it's sheltered down here and then move on all the way along the ridge to Wunfak. Anyway, in a bit. So there you go. There's the forest I just come from. All the way. That's the edge of the forest. Now, out on top of the Brecons. There we go. I'm going this way. because uh, I only take with me in Wales like one litre which doesn't sound like a lot, probably shouldn't recommend it but there's so much water around here like streams and rivers and you know, just so much that you just see it all the time but I've got a filtration kit with me so I just use that but obviously I'm at the top of the mountain now so uh, there's not much water here and if it is it's quite stagnant so I'm just trying to find like a natural waterfall or something
day, the conditions are just perfect. So, I don't know if you can see, the reservoir is down there somewhere, so the boffy's not too far away. I'm gonna try and get down there quick, maybe get some cool shots in this weather, because who knows what it's gonna be like tomorrow. No one else here, just me. I am really sweaty. I kind of ran down that bit. Um, I was thinking I'll get some cool shots while there's still light and take the drone up, but it's it's nice and sunny, but it's a bit windy, so I'll leave the drone for tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go for a swim. We'll see how cold this water is, and then get settled in for a nice evening. And I'll show you around tomorrow, because can't be bothered to do it today, so we'll get it tomorrow. Right, this is probably a stupid idea because I'm already bloody freezing. But right, I'm just gonna get in there, see it drops down to the reservoir. Woo! That's too cold, too cold. I'm not at Wim Hof level yet, but it's all right. It was just mainly just to get all the sweat off me and then I can at least sleep a bit better. Right, good morning everyone. It's just past 6am. Got up to see the sunrise. So I'll show you outside first and then when it's a bit lighter, I'll show you what's going on inside and here. But yeah, look, it was cold last night. <sighs> Don't know if you can see that. It was minus one last night. <laughs> Let's go. Sick, wasn't it? All right, now it's a bit lighter. I'll show you on the inside. Let's go. Hmm. So, what we've got, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit dark, but it's pretty simple downstairs. You got a, uh, you know, I'll switch it around. There you go, a bit better. So, just a little table and chairs. I'm just having an orange. Uh, a wood burner there. I didn't have a fire last night because I was ill prepared and there wasn't enough wood and it was alright but it was a bit cold last night. Sort of a seat slash bed area here and then some people have left, there's all the instructions there of how to use the bivvy, um, got lots of things people have left behind, some ration packs, some spare gas, tent sleeping bag. Um, Got some tin soup, people left, a bit of tea, oil, you know, a couple of basic bits people just leave behind. You got a brush and a, there's a little spade behind here. Take your rubbish by the way, that's what I've got there. That's for when you need to use the toilet, you go dig yourself a little hole somewhere. Which I did this morning. lovely experience and then up the ladder okay I don't know if you can see yeah you can just about make that so it's just like a little platform here this is all left here by previous people smelled of dog so someone's clearly had some dogs up here um, but that was a bit of a metal on the uh, duvet there gave a bit of extra pattern I made a candle so yeah, it was alright. It was cold last night, about minus one. All in all, 
pretty good. And then that's your view as you walk out. You know, little seating area there. And this is it. The boffy. So it's turned out to be an absolutely ridiculous day. Like, I don't think I've ever been to the Brecon Beacons and it's been this good weather. I mean, look at that. Ooh, that's tasty. <laughs> also some drone footage that didn't make the cut. I was actually showing this father and son that came up to the boffy. Uh, they were all looking at the drone going, oh, how's this work? I was just, you know, asking all the questions about how much does that cost? So I ended up just showing them it, giving them a little tutorial. And uh, yeah, this is how it went. I forgot that big hill behind me but the drone was good that was actually before I did all the other footage so luckily I've got it insured I think I can crash it like five times which is pretty sweet because I'm a really bad pilot so anyway I forgot to mention I'm headed back to the car now so I've left the boffy this is just the reservoir next to me um, so I'll probably stop filming now and just enjoy the sun enjoy the vibes but this place is absolutely gorgeous um so yeah thanks for everyone for watching hope you enjoyed it it was quite a lot of fun making it so i'll definitely make some more go easy on me it's probably a pile of poo at the moment but they'll get better i'm sure anyway like subscribe if you want no pressure and uh follow me on the next adventure